Yeah. See how it's yeah. curving forward? Yeah. I know. This will be the cutting edge. Uh -huh. You've got to get it forward because when you start drawing that out, it's going to curl back. So you've got to take that in consideration when you start, when you shape it. Up. <laughs> and your final finish on them, them is what grit sandpaper do you use? On, I'm, I'm, my working knives, which is what this would be, I go 220 on a grinding belt, and then I have a, a buffing wheel, then I put a 220 grit satin finish compound on it okay. for my final finish. And the finish, it gives a nice bright finish. But what I like about it is, in the course of using it, getting it scuffed or getting it dirty, whenever you want to clean it up, you can take a, scro a scotch Brite pad uh, and rub that back out and you'll have a pretty much exact same finish. I, I put the knife in edge down. Okay. Because all my heat treat is, is differential heat treat. Yeah. I just harden the bottom half. There's the cutter. Now we're just going to submerge it and move it just a little bit. What's happening is with this steel, you're you're wanting martensite. It's the structure that you want. That's the hard structure. So that forms. <coughs> at about 450 degrees. So you've got a, a temperature curve you gotta make. With this steel from 1550 to 900 degrees, you've gotta reach that in about one second. But you still don't have, it's still not martensite. You've made that curve, but you've gotta drop all the way down to about 450 before it actually turns into martensite, which is the hard, the hard structure. So once you drop below that, you've got martensite. So um, I like to make sure I'm well below that before I pull it out of the oil and let it cool. But Smith Her Radio, forging blacksmiths together.